But anyway, if you're going on a vacation in the next couple of months, you don't have to be on a school schedule to take a break this spring. Liz McLaughlin goes over some surprising travel trends that won't break the bank. More adults are taking a spring break from work. Millennials in particular, according to a rise in traffic on travel apps, including Hopper. Millennials have said that they value experiences over physical goods. Um, so we're definitely seeing more and more people trying to travel. Millennials are also packing in more vacations each year, opting for shorter, more frequent trips over a longer vacation. One way they're doing that, leisure travel, combining business and leisure by extending a business trip over the weekend. By doing that, they save the employer money because the flights are often cheaper uh, coming back and then they can have basically a free vacation. Florida hotspots and beach destinations may come to mind for spring breakers, but more people are opting for international travel ahead of the busy summer season. Paris, London, they're in the top five for um, most track destinations. Taking bigger trips in part because it's more affordable to get there. It's actually the lowest it's been in three years in terms of flight pricing. You'll have to plan ahead to get the best deal. Prices shoot up around 40% in the two weeks before departure. But when booking your hotel, procrastination can pay. If you're flexible, if you can be spontaneous, um, you can get rewarded with really fantastic deals. The hotels work the exact opposite of flights, so the more you wait, the more you save. According to Hotel Tonight, the lowest prices are the day of check-in, if you can wait that long. Liz McLaughlin, NBC News. Another way to save, take advantage of the shoulder season. Save on destinations such as Napa Valley Vineyards and ski resorts that offer many of the same amenities with deep savings.